Yes, YouTube Haze here. It's been forever since we did a PvP video, so here is a PvP video featuring Winged Izin. The team we'll be using will be Hendrickson, King, Eskinor, and Izin, which is waifu. The, the food that we're going to be using will be CC food. We'll be using CC food throughout all 7 matches. And without that, I hope you enjoy. To our first match, we go. Alright, our first match is against a droll Meliodas King using out food. Interesting. This is a real play using ultimate gauge food. And because he's using King, we can apply triple debuffs and he's probably and, and he's done for. He can't gain out gauge. Just like that. Nice. And we get our first surrender. And we are back in champion 2 because the the previous game had a DC glitcher. He literally disconnected me the moment the game started and I lost and I had to surrender that match. Alright, on to our next match, we go. Alright, our next team is against a Mark 2 Valenti with Zudo Cell using ultimate using using CC food. Interesting facing facing a Mark 2 Valenti. Dark Navy. Ooh. Oh. Ha. So now let's see what he does here. His Mark II Valenti basically has no crit chance against me, and his Zudo's passive is inactive on all my three units. So despite using CC food, his Zudo doesn't out CC my units when I use CC food. Oh, Invasion Arrow Vazanti. Block skill effect. Oh wow, that still hurts. Oh no! I just forgot, I I can't hit. I think this will miss. Wait, never mind, it doesn't miss. But now we have now I have who's that? Hendrickson's ultimate ready to go. And because Valenti's triple debuffs, she won't be doing that much damage. And she just and he also just wasted his envisioned arrow to get to level two level two and in fact the level three Valenti server card. He's rushing to kill my the one, understandable. The one is dead. And he does that. Okay, let's kill Mark 2 Valenti. We can apply poison and we can kill off the Gota. I can leave Dudo Cell alive. I mess him up. Boom! And you're dead. Apply the AoE poison. Ha! And now we slap the Gota to death. Incoming surrender. Come on, surrender. Still no surrender. There we go, that's the surrender we want to see. GG well played. On to our <laughs> Alright, on to our next game, we go. Our next game is against a South Mode Meliodas. We win CC tie, but at what cost? No, I've st I don't know how to play this. I think we still have to apply triple debuffs, unfortunately. I think we just lose this. Assault mode melee counters the uh, counters wing team because I need to apply debuffs for it to be useful. But if I apply debuffs, I'll just get hit. Heavy metal. Heavy metal really well. I guess I can rush King Ultimate now.
I guess this. Yash! Now, now we now we know. Um, AM Melee is has tri is triple debuffed by by Zine. The question is how much damage can it kill my king? That's the question here. If it kills king, it's game over. Okay. And the king's dead. There's nothing I can do here. I'm going to give up the match since there's no way I can win against uh win against the assault mode melee team. All right, on to our next on to our next match. We go. All right, our next team is against regular Xuita. What I love to see using CC food as well. So we are fighting regular Gudu Eater using CC food. So we apply triple debuffs as usual. And we weaken the one like crazy. Oh. Okay, applies a shield. Okay, now I can't rush out, unfortunately. Okay, let's see how much health you have left. 62k, wow. Okay, this should weaken all his units. Perfect. The one is now low. The list is also now low. Gota is somewhat high, but it's okay. So at the end of the turn, I should I should proc this as passive. He does have another invasion arrow, so it's only level two cards. Yep, and because of triple debuffs, Eskonor will not crit. He's dumping all three cards on my Escanado, which is scary. Okay, Escanado dies, unfortunately. Okay, this passive has been propped. So now we combine these two cards. We can use this to kill the Ziz, and we use this to kill the Escanado. Dark Nebi. Yeah! Punch! Dead Eskinor, and we have King's Ultimate to finish it to finish the game off. And we get our surrender. Good game well played to you. Alright. On to our next match, we go. Our next match is against Assault Mode Melee again. Using probably evade food. It's a real player. Combine this. I think there's a play here. Evasion successful. Knew it. Okay, he's not rushing the out yet, so I have so I can I can now rush. Let me affect him with all the debuffs first. So Nixon, I can poison him to to make sure he doesn't uh, must that. To make sure he doesn't get uh, out back. Yeah, I think I think we lost immediately against another AM team. 
So yeah, I think I can just surrender this game. I have no way to come back now. So yeah, good game to you. On to our next match, we go. Alright, our next match is against the one, Zudo and Gota, using CC food as well. Oh wow, Hendrix is affected by Zudo. That's unfortunately that's unfortunate and scary for me. But as per usual, we are gonna apply triple debuffs on turn one. Ha! My goal is to be able to kill the Escanor by next turn. Since he has no thorn cuts or anything. Oh wow! What? Wow, I am lucky. I am so lucky, my hand. Invasion arrow on Escanor. You were not. Cr you were not crit. The question. Going for Escanor. That won't crit. That will not crit. That will not kill. Yep. I. Izin takes away so much of your stats that you you literally don't do anything anymore. Okay, I guess I can do this. We get we get the ultimate, but let's just throw everything just to be safe. Do this. <laughs> Eskinos dead, and now this is just going to set up a random unit. Gota in, Gota in our case. Sh if, if we targeted Zudo though, if only we targeted Zudo, Zudo would be dead. And that's a surrender! You know what? Let's do one more match. Let's do, the, let's do a bonus ninth match just, just for the fun of it. Alright, for our bonus ninth match, we are fighting against an AM team. The question is, this, is this a bot or real player? It is a real player. Probably running invasion food. Yep, invasion food. He's rushing AMs out. Oh, he's not. I guess I can do this, do this, and this. Let's see what he does here. I don't think we can win against AM. What's oh, going for Eskinor? Oh, and he has a petrify. That, exp that explains why. Okay, I guess I can move the cards once. This and this. This this should take away the outs. Okay, now he loses out, but he has to deal with my King and my Hendrickson. Hendrickson is the boss, but King isn't. Okay, he one-shots, of course. Almost one-shots my... I guess I can dump both cards on you and we can out the head the Meliodas. I don't think I don't think Hendrickson has the ability to kill though. But I trust in you, Hendrickson, come on! Boop. Yes, we do get we we killed the we killed the AM. And we have and we also have the one ultimate next turn. He's in trouble. We get a win. We won against an AM team. Wonderful. 
All right, we end we ending the we ending the vid here at three thousand eight hundred and ninety two points, and let's go to the outro. All right, so as you can see, Fast King is still pretty meta apparently if you have him built up and maxed out and everything. And I'm surprised that the the, the final match we were able to kill the Malaskala and the Hendrix on and the AM Meliodas on the same turn, which was crazy to me. I wasn't expecting that. But other than thanks for watching, thanks for watching. Haze out. Whatever can I do when two of my units are blue? AM comes and one shots my entire team. What can I do? Other than Zeus on turn 2 The meta is now not right for me at all Against Eskenor games are still easily won Against Valenti people running her can mourn There's still hope for Fast King still to see play but how long more can I bring this team into the fray? Triple debuffs, reducing your stats by 24%. You cannot crit, cannot hit, your stats are obsolete. Poison shock and bleed will stay dizzy with the U down. But how long more? Can I run this team and pull off a win?